Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. Spoiler warning ahead for Chapter 16 of The Mandalorian, so turn back now if you don't want anything to be spoiled. Following the conclusion of Season 2 of The Mandalorian, after my emotions were able to come back down to Earth, I found myself dwelling on how The Mandalorian so perfectly included both Boba Fett and Luke Skywalker into the story of the show. Because of this, I realized that my perspective on how I felt about those two characters appearing in new Star Wars films and shows completely changed. Prior to Season 2 of The Mandalorian, Luke Skywalker Walker and Boba Fett were two characters that I felt somewhat ambivalent towards. When I was a youngling, those were two characters that made me fall in love with Star Wars along with my homeboy Yoda. Seeing Luke duel Vader in both The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi made me think he was a badass Jedi. Likewise, Boba Fett's menacing and awesome outfit made him a character that I thought was just the coolest. As I got older, however, Luke had become a character that I just didn't seem to enjoy as much as when I was younger and I became disappointed by how easily and quite comically Boba Fett was dealt with in Return of the Jedi. And while both characters have been fun to explore in comics and books, there were characters that I wasn't clamoring for Lucasfilm to delve into more on screen. Even though I love The Last Jedi and have no qualms with Luke in that film, the reaction and uproar from fans following The Last Jedi has also made me want Disney and Lucasfilm to steer clear of legacy characters in future Star Wars films and shows. Now that Season 2 of The Mandalorian has concluded, however, my opinion on Luke, Boba Fett, and other legacy characters has completely changed. Not only do I want more screen time for Luke and Boba, but I'm actually chomping at the bit for the new Boba Fett show. The Book of Boba Fett, and I'm really hoping Luke will appear again in The Mandalorian or will get some new content that will explore his time post Return of the Jedi. The reason for my change of heart is because of how well both characters were handled and depicted in The Mandalorian. As mentioned, once I got older, Boba Fett was just a cool looking character that went out like a chump in Return of the Jedi. In comics, Boba Fett is an absolute beast, which has been dope, but I felt like that hasn't entirely translated on screen. But in The Mandalorian, my man is a badass, takes no crap, he seems to have some kind of code of honor, which has me all in on Boba Fett now. Seeing him work alongside Din and Fennec while being the badass that I hoped he was when I was a young kid has made me appreciate his character all over again. The same can be said of Luke. He's a character that just didn't seem to interest me all that much once I got older, especially since there was so much content that dove into Luke's story, whether it be the movies, comics, or books. As I got older and started to delve more deeply into Star Wars books, Books, comics and cartoons, I found myself having a greater appreciation for characters such as Ahsoka Tano, Ezra Bridger, Kanan Jarrus, etc. Luke had become a character that I wasn't overly excited by and a character that I felt indifferent towards in regards to Lucasfilm exploring in new on-screen projects. But after seeing my man obliterate those dark troopers and take Grogu with him to train, I'm dying to know what he's been up to prior to appearing before Din and Grogu and I'm dying to know what happens next for him. That change in heart in me can be a attributed to Jon Favreau, Dave Filoni, and everyone else involved with Season 2 of The Mandalorian. They were able to introduce both characters into The Mandalorian in ways that were so perfect and interesting. On top of that, they've left the door open for both characters to appear in future Star Wars projects in a way that's more interesting to me than at any point previously in canon. We know The Book of Boba Fett, which has been officially announced as a new series, will explore Boba Fett's story on screen in a way that we've never experienced before and I'm jonesing that will also get a show about Luke. I don't care if it's a cartoon or a live action series, I'm just clamoring to know what Luke Skywalker is up to either before, during, or after The Mandalorian, and that's the first time I've been clamoring for more stories featuring him since I was a youngling pretending I was Luke Skywalker fighting Darth Vader. A cartoon could be perfect since we wouldn't have to worry about whether there'd be an actor or a CGI version of Luke. Mark Hamill could even do the voice work for a cartoon which would be dope because Mark Hamill is a national treasure who's done voiceover work before. As mentioned, The Mandalorian has completely changed my views on both Boba Fett and Luke Skywalker in a good way. And if that's not proof that Favreau, Filoni, and all involved hit a home run in Season 2 of The Mandalorian, then I don't know what is. But what do you guys think? How do you feel about Boba Fett and Luke Skywalker's appearances in The Mandalorian? And do you hope we'll get a show devoted to Luke Skywalker? Let us know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook, all at Dan's on Fandoms. And as always, stay nerdy.